The records Ethel Smythe, our opera this summer. The composer Ethel Smythe, a 19th century British lady, found her inspiration for the opera by, in fact, vacationing in Cornwall. She visited some locales that very much resemble where this opera is ultimately located geographically. And um, some caves, the coastline, and she became all fired up about the story. The Wreckers is the first opera we have done that is going to be in English, actually, although we'll still have surtitles. Ideally, it would be in a Cornish 18th century accent, which is a little bit, I'm told, the way pirate talk is uh, uh, portrayed a lot of and you know sounds like that we're not going to have them do that necessarily but we want them all to more or less sound like they come from the same world to the expense of being absolutely historically accurate and how people sound ethel smythe uh, was an english composer died in the 40s uh, she was an, a larger than life personality uh, she was first and foremost an intellectual. Uh, she was a very well-known advocate for women's rights in suffrage. Uh, she even went to prison for it. She was connected to the Bloomsbury Group. Um, she was in all her life uh, an open and uh, unabashed lesbian and, um, and probably bisexual as well, uh, given her relations with uh, the man who wrote a great many of the texts um, that she set to music, including uh, the opera we're doing. But she was um, a really towering and uh, commanding figure in British musical and intellectual, intellectual life uh, in the early 20th century. She uh, is the only woman ever to have an opera produced by the Metropolitan Opera. And uh, it's amazing, but that is uh, an undeniable fact. We're not doing the opera that was produced at the Met, and I have my suspicions that they chose uh, an, an easier to produce opera that isn't quite as strong, um, which in German is called The Forest. Uh, they avoided really her masterpiece. Her masterpiece is The Wreckers. And this was uh, finished in 1904. It was first produced in Leipzig in German um, in 1906. And it has had many advocates, among them the, com the very famous conductor and disciple of Mahler, Bruno Walter. The Records is undoubtedly her masterpiece. It's a fantastic piece. It is grand. It is uh, exciting. It has a fantastic story. It has rousing choruses. It has a romantic interest. It has lies, betrayal, sex religion, it has everything. There's nothing missing to make it a really fantastic piece of theater, which is what it is. Mm -hmm.